Okay, just going to pull some cards and see what um, today's energy is going to be. I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, first card. Mountain. Moon. Mice. So this card makes me feel like whoever this reading is for, they are experiencing some obstacles, some difficulties um, in their life at the present moment. Sorry about that, I just had to adjust my camera so um, there will be a there will be a cut there. Okay, so, so far, obstacles, difficulties, problems to overcome. I feel like this person is doing some reflection, um, looking at these problems. Um, trying to figure out why these problems are occurring, how they can be overcome, what they can do to move forward. But I feel like this card represents that, that um, reflection is annoying, is a problem. Um, the obstacles themselves are annoying, but I feel like I just heard lack of insight. So I feel like this person has these problems. They're trying to figure out why they're having these problems, but the reason escapes them. So I feel like there's a repeating of problems that's happening, like a cycle. The same thing keeps happening over and over again because this person lacks insight. Moving on. Dog. Sun. Safe. Okay, so these obstacles have to do with loyalty, friendship, having um, the right people in one's life, finding the right people for one's life. This person is looking, trying to figure out why they're having these problems, finding the right people for their life, trying to figure out how to make it better with this card.
the reasoning, the reason escapes them. Wanting to make things right. And really, the problem I feel like is that these two cards make me feel like what this person is valuing when it comes to relationships. So what they're looking for, the criteria or the characteristics are wrong. And this card to me represents that there's a need to scrap the list and start new because values are misplaced, misguided, are um, just wrong really. I feel like once it's discovered that what is being sought after is what is creating the obstacles, then this can happen. And this proper relationships. I feel like this person has like totally disregarded loyalty in friendship. It's like this person has accepted people or a person into their life who is clearly not for them, does not support them in any way, shape, or form, and has called it friendship or love. It's like enemies have become friends, and friends have become enemies. But this person, I feel like, is completely blind to what has happened when it comes to their relationships. I feel like this person has no discernment, awareness that they are surrounded um, by enemies or foes. Because their definition of friendship, definition of love, is completely and totally wrong. But they just don't see it. And I feel like when someone points it out to them, you know, saying to them, this person is not your friend. Like, look at this, 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 and this that they've done to you. This person is like completely oblivious, like does not see it, cannot comprehend, and they just brush what they're being told off and continue moving forward. They continue to keep getting hurt, keep getting betrayed. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's like the divine, like God has done this or it's willful blindness. It's like they see it and they just don't care. I almost feel like this person um, 
does just does just does not want to be lonely. So they just need to have human bodies. Um, surrounding them. I also feel like this is going to seem strange, but I feel like this person almost finds um, true friendship, true loyalty almost to be annoying to them or a problem or they can't, can't accept it. I feel like they're more comfortable being around um, in, or, or in the presence of people that are not their friends or are their enemies rather than to be in the presence of people that truly care about them. I almost feel like there's a fear here of being hurt So it's like, if I'm in the presence of my enemies, I know what to expect. So I, I'm not really getting hurt then if I already know I'm going to be hurt. But if you're in the presence of people that, you know, care about you and they hurt you, the pain of that is like exponentially worse than being hurt by people that um, are your enemies, that you know are your enemies. There's almost the same feeling when it comes to happiness. Like, this card made me feel like that about enemies. Being hurt by enemies is easier than being hurt by true friends or true lovers. This card makes me feel like it's the same attitude towards um, happiness. It's like, if I'm always in a state of being upset, that is more comfortable and easier to accept than being happy and having to transition, you know, into unhappiness. I also feel like this person has a problem um, with ending things in their life. I feel like there's a problem with confrontation. And um, dismissing people from their life. Okay, so let's move on. Look at that. Three of Swords. Judgment in Reverse. This person has a problem, again, with ending relationships. And I think it goes back to the loneliness. Not wanting to be alone. Obviously, this hasn't come out in the cards. This is my personal opinion. Do not, please, please, do not accept people in your life that are treating you horribly because you don't want to be lonely. Look at that. Look who came out. King of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles. So this is about a masculine energy who is not seeing that he is in a state of lack and loss. This is a person, look at that, ten of um, wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles, like this masculine energy is in a place where he is comfortable with being in a place of lack, like I mentioned earlier. Look at Nine 
Knight of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands upright. This person is not going to do anything about the position that they're currently in, which is a state of lack because they've come to accept their position. It's easier to be in relationships that are detrimental and defunct rather than try and move towards happiness. Look at that. Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This person is, I feel like, has no sense of happiness in their life. But again, can't see it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. Does not want to be alone, like I mentioned earlier. I personally am not um, that way. I think like, I haven't always been that way, like being fine on my own, but I would say in the last mm, three years or so, I've come to a place where I quite enjoy it. It's like, I do not want anyone in my life that is going to disrupt the things that I have built thus far. Look at Nine of Wands in reverse. There he is again, King of Swords. Not changing. This masculine energy is not changing. fell on the floor stuck again nine of pentacles in reverse eight of wands no change not changing does not feel the need to change is comfortable in their position of lack in his position of lack It must be a sad life to just be surrounded continuously um, by people that are wrong for you. Always in conflict, always in lack, always wishing you were loved but never loved. It's a sad state of affairs. These two cards fell on the floor. Ace of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. So that makes me feel like, these two cards make me feel like things are changing. Hmm. Maybe he's finally changed his mind. Let's find out. So, K 
couldn't find happiness. Feminine energy. Did some reflection. Came to a decision. Figured out. Nothing was ever going to change. So she decided to change. So we have a masculine energy that was stuck in a cycle of being involved with people and relationships and situations that were completely and totally wrong with him, wrong for him. Um, because he did not want to be lonely. Also, same applies to being happy, stayed in a place un of unhappiness because it's easier to be miserable than it is to be happy. This feminine energy had enough of his way of living, realized that he was never gonna change decided she was going to change. Page of Cups. Hmm. Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands. This feminine energy was like, I want something more, something new, true love, true devotion, true friendship. I feel like this decision devastated her. It's like, I want to be happy. But this is not an easy decision for me. But she did it. She decided to move on. I feel like there's two different things happening with these cards. I feel like one, this feminine energy cut this masculine energy off, but I also feel like this card represents um, another feminine energy um, that this feminine energy feels needs to be removed. This removed in order for this to happen, for these problems to be over. This feminine energy, I feel like, does things, uh, negative things. I feel like she causes, this feminine energy here makes me feel like this, that she, I just heard the word interferes. So basically we have a third party situation here going on. This feminine energy here makes me feel like this is the masculine energies 
part should be partner. But this is the feminine energy that he's currently with. And because he is with her, there is this problems. And a lack of love yeah. in um, the relationships that are present here. I feel like these cards are cards that are um, representing everyone involved in this situation. No happiness. Everyone her, her, and the King of Swords that showed himself are all in a state where they're just, they feel defeated. Because the masculine energy is stuck in a place where he is happy. Uh, being miserable. He's happy being in um, a relationship that is without this and without this loyalty, friendship, love, and happiness. So, since we're stuck, let's pull an advice card and see what comes up. I'm going to pull an advice card for the Queen of Swords, an advice card for the Queen of Wands, and an advice card for... The King of Swords that showed himself when I was shuffling. Advice card for the Queen of Swords. Observer. So I feel like the advice for her is to continue what she's doing. Stay out of the relationship. Between the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Stay out of it. I just heard let them self destruct. A vice card for the Queen of Wands. So for her, it is Yang, so hmm, she's being advised to take some sort of action. I just felt like she is being told 
that to step up to the plate, there's hmm, I just got the feeling that this queen of wands has someone else. And I feel like she wants to be with that someone else. So I feel like she's being advised that she needs to put an end. She is going to have, because masculine energy is stuck, she's going to have to be the one um, to end the relationship. And I feel like she has incentive because I feel like she has someone new. I feel like this card is more of a not so much advice as like this is what you're in for whether you like it or not like this new life is coming um, and it's going to be forced upon you because you will not act. And I feel like she, Queen of Wands, is going to be the one that forces this on him because she has this. She's got something cooking on the side that I feel like she wants and for this lovely queen who stepped away um, she's being advised to just watch because queen of wands is about to take action and he is going to be the queen of our king of swords is going to be forced into a new life and again she is his counterpart so she's his partner but she just has to wait she need not take any action just watch um, I am going to do an extended reading. It's not going to be immediately available. Um, it will be available by the end of the day, though. So if you want to know more about this situation, this resonates with you, if this message is for you, then you will be able to purchase that later on in the day. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.